Hi everybody, I'm Alexandra Wilby from Hello Magazine and today I have been joined in our Facebook Live studio by the lovely Nicola Roberts. Hi, good Welcome. morning. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. So you have come to have a little bit of a brunch. Yes, I'm very happy and excited about the array of croissants on the table. I bought them. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't have breakfast this morning yet. Oh, perfect. It was like a choice between walking the dogs or having breakfast, and I selflessly walked the dogs. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, well, you can tuck in. Thanks. And also, you are the new face of Freshnet Prosecco. Mm -hmm. Brilliant thing to be the face of. Mm. And we have got some here. So yes. should we have a little glass with our brunch? <laughs> we shall. <laughs> okay. Right, let's pour some. Here we go. It's a nice bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. Oh, look. I think that that's where they prized themselves on, that it was the most Instagrammable bottle. Really? Yeah. Is that what they said? Mm -hmm. It is lovely. So, in this week's magazine, we have a really gorgeous shoot with you that yeah. we did Thank to you. promote this. Um, it looks fab. Did you have fun on the shoot day? I think that's enough. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a bit more. I did. We had, we had a few hiccups to start with. The original studio that we wanted to shoot in um, everybody was on their way to the location and then the studio called to say that they'd had a massive flood. <gasps> so it was like panic stations and we were trying oh to then God. frantically get a new studio. So the whole day kind of was a good few hours behind, but um, the team worked really, really well together and we managed to get everything done in, in, the, in the few oh hours. Oh my God, what a nightmare. I know. <gasps> they must have been going mad. Oh gosh, I think production were stressed. Well, you can't tell. It looks absolutely yeah. amazing in the <laughs> magazine. Um, so, did you get to take a few bottles of Frisian at home with you? Actually, they're going to send a crate to my house next week. Perfect. So, yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting. I don't know how many bottles. How many bottles is a crate? A lot. Yeah, enough. So, if we have anything to celebrate, <laughs> yeah. we can come to your house for a party. Yeah. Um, so, Nicola, these days you're busy in the studio, aren't you, writing lots of songs? Yes. How's that going? I am. Um, I've been writing for the Six last days. few years now. We're going to have a morning. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Um, yeah, I've been writing for the last few years now. Since Girls Aloud, I mean, properly writing and just concentrating on writing. I've always written from being young and then throughout being in Girls Aloud, I was writing as well. But... Um, Coming off the back of the last Girls Aloud tour, I've just predominantly been writing. Um, and that just gave me the opportunity to kind of step back and just take a minute and kind of just concentrate on being in the studio. That's kind of like my safest space and it's right. the space where I feel like I can contribute the best mm -hmm. of, you know, of what I can do. Um, and yeah, just I think I said in the magazine as well, you kind of go from like girl, womanish, mm -hmm. and now I'm 32, so I've you know made that transition, and I think stepping back to do that is, is being what I've needed to do. But I love writing; it's where I'm happiest. Do you think you prefer it to performing then? They both have different uh, elements, and they give you different things. Mm -hmm. Um. It's about being creative, I suppose. Like you can be creative within a performance, and you can mm. be creative within writing a song. So, yeah, I mean, I do miss like the extravaganza of a show that Girls Aloud used to put on. Yeah. And you know, the feathers and the sequins is hilarious, and some of the things that we used to wear. I don't know how the stylist got away with putting <laughs> us in them, but we just used to go with stuff, and I think you know that's. That was all part of the fun. Yeah. But, I mean, I like, I like both. I like both performing and writing. Do you miss being with the other girls as well? Because obviously you sort of began your career yeah. and there was five of you in this group doing everything together. Yeah. Is it then a bit of a shock when you go off and start doing your own thing? Do you miss them? I think um, it's easier because we're older. Yeah. So, and because this is not, like this, I mean, it's 15 years since we started in the group, Is so, it? you know, 15 years, I, you have God. to get to a point where you're comfortable within mm -hmm. yourself to just go and do things by yourself. Mm -hmm. Had it, you know, had it been just a few years, then maybe, mm -hmm. um, but none after 15 years, I'm fine to just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, you know, like, 
we were so young it was amazing to have each other mm -hmm. the first few years of being in a group I didn't ever speak in an interview I just was so shy and yeah. such a baby that I just I don't know I just wasn't confident mm -hmm. confident enough to speak yeah. so like having the other girls in that scenario was like so I just wouldn't have been able to do it yeah. by myself basically yeah. whereas now it's like you're older you you're you've grown into yourself and yeah. it's it's you come fine. into your own a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So, very excitingly, while you're in the studio, you are currently trying to come up with a big comeback song for Cheryl, who's one of your best friends post Girls Aloud. Mm -hmm. Is it easier to write when you know somebody so well, or is it more difficult? It's easier. Is it? Yeah, because I know. Yeah, it's easier because I know it inside out. It's not because I also write to like pitch to other artists. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of shooting in the dark a little bit. Yeah. If the publisher's like, oh, this girl band wants this type of song, or there's a new um, young female artist and she's looking for a song, you kind of write, but then you send it off, and it's a bit like shooting in the dark. Yeah. You don't really know the person. You don't know where they're they're at, what their headspace is, what their personality really is. Mm -hmm. But with someone like Cheryl, it's, e it's just easier yeah. because you can write a story that is true, yeah. real life, you know? Yeah. And do you find that you can be really honest when you're writing as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I wrote a song for her on her last record mm -hmm. that she didn't actually take, but it was so honest and so to the point that it was it was too to the point. Oh really? Yeah. And it was like we, can't, oh, wow. we shouldn't really. You nailed really, it too much. I nailed it too much. <laughs> but no, she has she has the most amazing team as well. So yeah. her label will be looking for for songs from so many writers. But it's just handy for me that I'm the best friend that yeah. kind of has an in. So yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. that is very exciting. So you two are best friends, and you speak every day, and also with Kimberly Walsh. You spend a lot of time with them, don't you? So um, weird to hear someone say Kimberly Walsh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Kimberly. Kimberly Walsh. <laughs> mm. Kimberly. Kim. Kimba. What are your favourite things to do together? Just chill at the house. Yeah. That's all we do. Go around in our scrubs. Yeah. Chill in the house with the kids. Yeah. Make a cup of tea. Gossip. Watch reality TV. Drink a bit of free schnapp. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And we will be now. <laughs> They will be when they're around at your house, definitely. Yeah, I know. Um, you say you get together for Sunday lunches and things like that, so who's the best cook? Oh God, I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> Is it you? I think, I'm going to say, because Kimberly has two babies, mm -hmm. she's a little bit more slapdash. <laughs> she's kind of like, whatever's in the fridge, we'll just pull that out and mix something up yeah whereas Cheryl is more like I'm cooking a roast right. and the potatoes are done to perfection she's timed everything the pans are all on perfect timing everything is like well thought out she <laughs> stuffed the chicken with lemons it's <laughs> aren't it's like she puts more effort in I think just because maybe she's got one baby and not two yeah sorry Kim <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And what about you? Do you have a go as I am, well? I am actually really good at a roast. Are you? Yes. I love it. Well, we're all northern, so I think roast dinners, like, yeah. if if we couldn't cook a roast dinner as northern girls, there'd be something wrong. Yes. Um, But I do love to cook a roast, and I love inviting everyone over, and I, like, display it on the table, and yeah. everything looks pretty. Yeah. It's all presented well. I like that feeling of someone being like, oh, wow. I don't know how it tastes, but it looks great. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a good one to have in your repertoire. Yes. Um, so you say that you feel really proud of everything that you've achieved with <coughs> Girls Aloud, mm -hmm. quite rightly. What was your highlight of your time in the band? Um, I think just our stage shows, like our tours. Like We were so fortunate that we had fans that kept coming back and, um, you know, were there to fill arenas to, to you know and enable us to put on such massive shows mm -hmm. because we had such big venues so i think our stage shows we we prized ourselves a little bit and we used to spend all our budget 
on all of these lifts and costumes and everything and we would always just say you know just put as much into it as we can so that the fans leave feeling like they've seen you know they've had an experience mm -hmm. and we wanted them to leave and be like wow did you see when they flew in over here and did yeah. you see when this explosion went off there rather than just putting on you know a, a boring Standing show yeah. Singing show yeah yeah I think our stage shows were our, our biggest what was your favorite song I mean the songs that you even forget about like album tracks that you even forget about and then you'll see someone on, on Twitter or on their feed and they'll, they'll show a clip of some random album track and and then you're like oh my god that one you know like yeah. I completely because it wasn't a single yeah but we had so many albums as well it was you kind of forget and you don't always put a visual to those songs that you don't always perform them on tour because they're just album tracks so mm -hmm. you forget about them but I think Untouchable is my favorite really yeah but like all of those like crazy little cute like Mishy Bow Wow and like Swing in London Town and all of those less known ones mm -hmm. I think are all amazing Aww. tracks. Do you miss being part of the group? I kind of miss, um, I, me I definitely miss the stage shows mm -hmm. and I, I do miss you know, the going in of a morning and having only just seen each other three hours before because yeah. we were just doing something crazy in the yeah. night, you know. Kind of missed that, but at the same time, I think I, for how hard we worked as well, like, we had to be young mm -hmm. to be able to work like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, the whole, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I do, I, I do miss the girls and I miss... I miss the whole like camaraderie of it and I yeah. miss the tours but also it's like that was then and you kind of have to there has to be other elements to your life as a lifespan mm -hmm. for you to to go through mm -hmm. you had your makeup range as well dainty yeah. doll which I loved it was amazing you're pale but it's, yeah very pale but it's on pause at the moment isn't yeah. it any plans to revive that I was really proud to to be one of the first and and at the time the only really to be providing like um, concealers and foundations and powders for women with just pale skin. Mm -hmm. And our lightest was, oh my gosh, it was bone white. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's something that I would definitely consider doing again in the mm -hmm. future if the opportunity came around. Um, I think at the moment it's just like about the music. Right, yeah. So once I've kind of like done a bit more there, then maybe maybe I could partner with someone again and do something like mm. that. But then I saw that Rihanna released the uh, Fenty line. Yes. And remembering how hard creating Dainty Doll was mm -hmm. and the constant endless sample testing and back and forth with the lab and the arguments and the just the it was so hard at the time I was um, writing Cinderella's Eyes mm -hmm. and creating Dainty Doll and Dainty Doll outweighed anything else I've ever done really yeah in oh, terms wow. of like how hard it was okay. so when I saw that Rihanna had done that I was like <laughs> That's been, been tough. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know exactly what you've been going through. So yeah. So are we going to be having a new solo album from you soon then? I am writing. I'm trying to. Yay. I'm trying to get that together. Kind of concentrated on writing for the artists for the last few years, but I do now need to get back into that and I, and I will. Exciting, we're mm -hmm. looking forward to it. Thank you. Well thank you so much for coming in Nicola, thank it's been lovely to chat me. to you Thanks. and everybody at home you can get Hello which is on sale now, this is the issue, and see the rest of our interview with Nicola. That's all from us, thank you very much.